Hello fellow Linux MCE users. This is my Galaxy 7 tablet. Why did I get a Galaxy 7 tablet? Well, since nobody else decided to jump on the Android design train, I figured I'm just going to have to do it myself. So, here's the tablet. But the tablet is just a means to an end, because really, I only use it for this. Actually, as it turns out, I prefer everything else on my desktop. Crazy how that works. Anyways, the reason we're all here, the Android Orbiter. Hey, there she is. As you can see, it's in profile mode until I swap it around, and then it goes into tablet mode. Now, the real there's nothing really special to point out here, except to point out that it's really been unified with the desktop. In that, um, as you'll notice right now, the screensaver is running in the background, um, and I'm not even sure if you can tell or not, but uh, it's actually blurring this uh, these photographs and whatnot. Um, essentially, well, not essentially. I mean, we have I recompiled the uh, our shaders for ARM and bada bing. Now we've got QML components for ARM and shaders for ARM. So this is really going to allow our app to look a lot more like the desktop one and the on-screen one, and be able to uh, allow us to use flashy effects. Um, there's really not a lot that's been done as far as optimization to this point. Like everything's pretty much still mouse centric, which is something that needs to be fixed. But um, well, something that is useful, um, you know, the little letter selector now works, so we can jump around to wherever we want. Um, but essentially, the UI is basically the same because I haven't figured out exactly what I want it to look like. So you know, do this, and then it'll play some Moby. Um, actually, let's go ahead and do that just for. She wanted to point this out. Um, for some reason, my EPG data isn't there. I think that's because I let my subscriptions expire, so I should probably look into that. Um, but yeah, as you can see, everything pretty much works like the desktop version. Um, you know, channel changing and whatnot. Anyways. Um, that's pretty much it for this demo, just kind of pointing out exactly how far the Android Orbiter has come. The next one of these things you guys will see is it playing DCE video. Um, that actually happens on our desktop and on screen UI we've got video integrated into the Linux MCE, uh, Linux MCE ecosystem. Oh yeah, that's another thing that needs to be fixed is the floor plans. They take forever to populate for some reason on Android and it's related to something in QML and the network loading, who really knows, but I just know it's something that needs to be fixed because it's bothering me. Anyways, but it'll be fixed soon enough. Um, I think that's pretty much the long and short of this demo. Yep, I think that is it. Oops. Kind of watching TV there. Not anymore. I'll point out something else. Um, we do have the handy little slider thing, which is really, really useful. Wow, that focus just doesn't want to work. But as you can see, numbers are differentiating there when we drag the slider around on the screen. And it's playing. See, if I wasn't looking at this through another lens, then I would be easier to hit. Although I will be making it bigger in the future. I don't know, I just feel like it needs to be a lot larger than it actually is. See, I can't even hit the right areas. Anyways, this is tricky. A phone, videotaping a tablet. OMG.
Is anyone still watching us? I think is the real question. Anyway, that's it.